Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. Now, just quickly before we get into the rest of the video, I will be starting my Arrow Season 5 uh, Blu-ray or DVD giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until then to find out how you can be the chance to win Arrow Season 5 on either Blu-ray or DVD. Now, it was only a couple of days ago, I think, that I made a video regarding Deathstroke and the two-episode story arc that we would be getting in Episodes 5 and 6 of this season of Arrow. These episodes would also involve Deathstroke-centered or centric flashbacks, which would show how Slade Wilson became who he is today. In that video, I did quickly go over the fact that they were looking for someone to play Slade Wilson's son, Joe Wilson, in these two episodes. I did also say that they hadn't actually casted anyone yet at that time, but we should get an announcement uh, on that very soon as they move deeper into the filming of these episodes. And, well, that's exactly what happened. They recently announced who was playing Joe Wilson, as well as some more details about the two-episode story arc and what we should expect to see go down. So I'm pretty sure Entertainment Weekly or EW.com were the first ones to break this news that Joe Wilson had been cast for Arrow Season 6. Now, he will be played by Liam Hall, who had previously been on another show that is part of the DC Comics family tree, and that is Lucifer. One weird thing about this casting is that Joe is meant to be like around 15 or 16 years old, and Liam obviously looks a bit older than that, so I don't know how they are going to explain that. Is it going to just be a change in continuity and they hope that no one really questions it? I don't really know, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out, won't we, I guess, when this uh, two-episode story arc finally appears on TV? Now, they did release, like, a short character description around the Joe Wilson character, which definitely highlights what the present-day story will be centered around in this uh, story arc for Deathstroke. The son of one of Green Arrow's greatest foes, Joe Wilson has followed in his father's footsteps by joining the secret Australian military agency, ASIS, or ASIS. After years of brutal combat, Joe now finds himself in a remote Kasnian prison under the alias Kane Wolfman fighting for his life. Just quickly, for those that may not know or may have just forgotten, Joe is the son that Oliver gave intel on to Slade in the season 5 finale, or actually it was in, was in the finale or right at the end of episode 22? It was in the finale, wasn't it? In the hope that Slade would, in turn, help Oliver in the takedown of Adrian Chase or Prometheus. Now, this isn't the sun that we saw on Legends of Tomorrow in Season 1 when the Legends went to Star City in the year 2046. That was Grant Wilson who had taken the mantle of Deathstroke, and that's like a possible sun. Like, Grant might not be born in the Arrowverse. But back to that character description for Joe Wilson. So, Joe will have gone through Aces training, which obviously Slade went through, and we also know that Captain Boomerang, or Digger Harkness, also went through that as well. He will also be using the alias of Kane Wolfman, which in itself is basically an Easter egg. The use of the first name Kane could be in reference to his mother Adeline's maiden name. Before her marriage to Slade, she was known as Adeline Kane. And more of you guys might get the reference made with Wolfman being used as the last name. The creator of Deathstroke is Marv Wolfman. So that's a pretty cool Easter egg alias name there, if that's the case. Now, Joe will be fighting for his life in a Kasnian prison, which in regards to Kasnia is a name we have previously heard and seen used in the Arrowverse. We visited the Republic of Kasnia back in Arrow Season 3 when Task Force X, or the Suicide Squad, went on a mission there. And we also visited the Kasnia conglomerate, where we met Per Degaton as a younger man, and we had that robot army disguised, uh, or designed, might I say, from Ray Palmer's Atom suit, in Legends of Tomorrow Season 1. Now, Mark Guggenheim, who we should all know is an executive producer on Arrow, did an interview with Collider, a long one, might I say, but it is pretty damn interesting to sit down and listen to if you do have the time, so I will leave that linked in the description down below if you are interested in checking that out, and I would, you know, recommend it. He gives some, like, info on, like, behind the scenes of Arrow and, like, the writing process and stuff like that that I actually hadn't heard before, so it was pretty interesting uh, sitting down and listening to it. But in the interview, Mark was asked a wide range of uh, questions, which isn't surprising, and he had some pretty interesting answers. But in regards to just the Deathstroke side of things, he did allude to the fact that Deathstroke being brought back into Arrow for Season 6 and I guess the end of Season 5, and just the TV side of DC in general, may have had to do with the issues concerning the new Batman movie. You should know that Deathstroke was said to be the villain in that film, and it was rumoured that due to that, Arrow could no longer use the character. But obviously, that movie has been delayed a bit, and Deathstroke might not even be in the plans anymore, so it is 
allowing Manu Bennett to uh, play Slade Wilson again on Arrow. Once again, Mark didn't like flat out say that. He just said that Deathstroke became available again uh, for them to use in their plans. Initially, it was just for those uh, the end of season five and I think the premiere for season six. But then DC was like, you know what? You can use them a bit more in season six if you want, but just don't overdo it. But in regards to season six of Arrow, Mark did say that Slade Wilson isn't going to be redeemed fully and be a hero. He is, he is still going to be in that gray area between good and and bad. He's just going to be in control of his morals from there on. Like the mirror, the mirror Kuru that was in his system is now out of his system, which is really why he was as bad as we saw him previously, but he isn't still like a true full on good guy underneath. So really what Mark was getting at is that you really just don't know what you or we are going to get with Slade Wilson from now on. Like he could be your best friend one moment and then he's betraying you the next. So you can't really full on trust uh, Slade, but there is a bit of trust there because he would trust you back a tiny bit, especially with what we're going to see in this two episode story arc with what Slade's trying to do. In regards to the flashbacks that we will be getting with Slade, Mark Guggenheim didn't go into any details really. He just said that they would be from the perspective of Slade, which I think we all knew would be the case. Like it would be weird if they were from someone else else's perspective and Slade was just involved. We have seen similar flashbacks like this in episodes with characters like Laurel, uh, Malcolm Merlin, Felicity, and Diggle, and even uh, Deadshot as well. I think there might be one more I'm missing out on. Let me know if I am in the comment section down below. So it is going to be cool to see that with Slade Wilson in uh, these couple of episodes in season six. The majority of people seem to think we will get flashbacks to like Slade's training with Aces, his family life, and his eventual landing on Lian Yu with Billy Wintergreen. So it'll be interesting to see if he comes back into the fold because we actually didn't properly meet Billy Wintergreen. He always had a mask on. Did we ever see him without his mask on? I'm not too sure if we did. But along with this, I would also like to see what Slade was like after the end of the season two flashbacks and how he officially became Deathstroke. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So after Oliver stabbed him in the eye with that arrow on the boat, which was, what was the boat called? The Amazo? after he was stabbed in the eye, what happened after that? And then, you know, it led, leads all to the moment that we actually meet him in the present day in season two of Arrow. I would like to see that more than the stuff before he got to Lian Yu, because before that, he was just sort of, you know, not necessarily normal, like he was a military dude or like a highly trained dude, but I'd rather see the stuff after he got stabbed in the eye and just before he came back officially as Deathstroke. I'd rather see that. But let's get on to the giveaways. So as I said, it is for either a Blu-ray or a copy of the Blu-ray or DVD for Arrow Season 5, which comes out in just under two weeks from now, roughly. So I'll announce the winner in about a week, like roughly. But if you do win, you won't get it until it's actually properly out because I can't get an early copy. I'm not that big. So uh, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below answering this question, which is... What was your favorite part or moment of Arrow season five? So it could be like the, the torture scene that Adrian Chase does to Oliver, or it could be the unmasking of Prometheus, anything like that. So just leave your favorite part or moment from Arrow season five in the comments, as well as leaving a like on the video and being a subscriber to the channel. And you're in the chance to, you know, win that season five Blu-ray or DVD. But thanks for watching guys. As I said, just do all that stuff to be in the chance to uh, be in that giveaway. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Goodbye.